Hi guys, I'm Mark. In the last episode, of the week, created a fantastic security camera, and today we'll continue by adding a looping animation and player detection system. It's a very easy tutorial, so let's get started. Okay, so now we are in the 5.6 version of Unreal Engine, and now we want to start our tutorial. So the first thing to do is basically to go in our security camera, BP security camera. And now we want to set up our timeline. So basically our animation to move the camera in a looping way, okay? So we take our event being play and now we want to add a timeline. So type like this, add timeline. I don't call it in a particular way. Double click on it. And now we want to create a track, a float track, okay? Moving value, I think it's good, so we want to stop our length, so basically the amount of seconds that the timeline has. So it's basically 4 seconds, and now we want to add the two keys. The first key is basically time 0, value 0, and the second key is time 4 and value 1. What the timeline do? Basically, the timeline return a value between 0 and 1, and this value increases to 1 in 4 seconds, okay? So, now we can go back in event graph, and now we want to set up our moving value. So, basically, we want to take our camera, so take our camera, and now we want to get rotation, yes, and of course we want to set up it. Okay, so take this value and we want to do a LERP rotator, okay. So basically when the value is a 0 is perfectly A, otherwise is, uh, if is 1 is B, and of course all the values between these two 0 and 1, okay. So basically we want to split these uh, structures, okay, split that. And we want uh, only to choose relative rotation, so relative rotation, sorry and the X and the Epsilon for this and also for that, okay. Because we want only to move in the Zeta rotation and use for the X and Epsilon the relative ro rotation of our camera. So basically the A is minus 45 and the B is basically 45, okay. And of course the update is basically to use the rotation of our camera to set it so the return value go here in the new rotation and of course we want to use that timeline not one time but of course like we want to create a loop how to do this basically we want to set a variable here it restart okay that is of course boolean and we want to create a condition here if I want to control if it restart is true or not. If it's true, we want to restart the timeline. Otherwise, we want to play it in a reverse mode. Okay? So basically, uh, from the end to the start. So in the files, we can go here in the reverse. But before doing it, we want to set our it restart because otherwise it creates some problems. Okay? So we want to set it to true, so when it's finished after the reverse mode, it go here in play. So let's create something like this, sorry, it's a little bit messy, like this, okay. And of course, if it's true, we want to go here in play and do the same thing. So basically not true but false and go here in play. So let's compile and save, and now we can control it. So go into person, and now we can check it. So if you go here, you can see that the camera basically is moving in a loop way. Okay, so go from minus 45 to 45, like this, perfect. Now we want to set up something, go here in security camera, and now we go to viewport. We want to add two components. The first one is a decal component. It is basically a mesh that you can apply to a surface, okay? And also a box collision. Okay, I want to maybe call it uh, like status LED. For this transform, I choose uh, something like this, okay? And for, so these values, for the box collision, something like this. 
okay so now that we have these values uh, we want also here to go in collision so uh, we don't want overlap all dynamic we want a custom yes for dynamic and query only and we want to ignore everything basically but not uh, pawn okay we want to overlap a pawn so basically it works only with pawn okay essentially and now create our decal material here so let's create it go in materials i want maybe i create a new folder decal materials okay and now i want to create it the so material camera projection okay double click on it and now i want to stop it the first thing is not surface but it's basically deferred decal and is translucent okay and this is basically the the first thing to do of course always a specular and we want to set up here something a little bit strange and i think maybe difficult but we must use it so the first thing is to add fresnel and it's a complicated function so i don't want to explain it because maybe i will explain it bad though so if you want more information uh, check the Arial engine documentation but we use it like this so 5 and 0.04 we want to use also power elevate that value to break into four components because we want the, we want the alpha and the alpha go here in the opacity okay now we want also to stop our parameters so click uh, three plus left click of the mouse yes and i want to convert it to a parameter and it's basically our uh, color let yes Okay, so now here we want, we want to use RGB. For the mystic color, also here we want to use RGB. And this is basically our value. For default, I choose like a green. The player is not detected. Okay, so now we can save it. And also here to create a, we want to create an instance. That's it's basically when the player is det detected. Okay, so here I want to choose not green but basically red, okay? So let's save it, and now we can go here in event graph, and we want to take our event tick. Basically, we want to create the align trace by channel. Yes, something like this. We want to take our scene capture component 2D, and basically to get toward the location, perfect. I want to use it for the start. So uh, for the start of our laser, okay. And of course, you want also to choose the end. And the end is basically always our scene capture component. But we want to take a forward vector. So basically, we can take the direction of our component. And we want to multiply it for a value that is basically I choose uh, maybe 800, but you can choose uh, also 1000 maybe. And uh, the last thing to do is basically to add this value to our word location. Okay, and this is basically the end. We want also to change your following frame uh, to debug, of course. And we can break this out it. So break it. And now we want to set up our location and the rotation of our status LED. Set world location and rotation. The location is basically the impact point of our laser. And the rotation is basically our impact normal. A little change here, but it's not a problem. So compile and save. And now we can test it. Okay, so the first thing to do maybe is to choose 1000 otherwise it doesn't eat anything basically and also maybe i want to rotate this camera a little bit something maybe like this okay so now we can control if everything works yes okay it works you see that basically when it arrives here uh, it uh, change the the location so it works with every type of ground okay and now we want to also to detect the player so go in security camera and now in the event graph we want to also use our box collision here in the on component begin overlap yes 
Okay, so basically when the play is detected, basically we want to change the color of our decal material. How to do this? We can get our status LED, set decal material, okay, and the new decal material is basically camera projection instance, and we want also to call a custom function that I want to create here in the event begin play. So I want to cast create a, a custom event. Okay, then that basically go here, go in stop. So we want to call it when the play is detected to simply block the animation and basically the camera stay stays there. I want to call it block panel, yes. And if you compile and save, now we want, we must have it, okay. So it's basically green, perfect like this, okay, but if I go there, oh, it's red, so it works, okay. But we want also to set up one last thing, so we want to create a game instance. If you don't know what game instance is, basically it's like a blueprint that it's basically in every level okay and uh, works like a global array of different variables or functions that you call every time you need okay so go in blueprints and now go here we want to create a game instance that is not there yes go in blueprint class and game instance select i call it bp game instance now go in the editor project settings and now we want, want to go maps and modes and here game instance we want to choose our class so bp game instance okay so basically is the default game instance okay so now we have it and if you double click on it we want to set up our variables that is basically is player detected compile and save and choose this uh, little i so basically we can edit it in other blueprints so go here in security camera and now before set the decal material we want to set that variable in the event begin play cast our game instance so i want to get game instance and I want to use cast, something like this. And the last thing is basically to set our game instance ref, bp underscore game instance. Oh, sorry, there. Okay, set it, and now we have it perfect, like this. So we come back here, and now we can use it. So let's get it, I want to set that variable so is player detected okay we want, i want to of course choose this little icon and now we can use this variable for an alert system but maybe we can do this in another episode because in this episode we have created this fantastic camera so thank you guys for watching and if you have problems uh, of course you can comment below and i will help you of course if you want to subscribe and bye bye guys